My name is Kiki. I am in recovery seven years. The medical community is at risk 10 to 15 percent higher because it's an occupational hazard and they have access to it. And doctors and nurses don't ask for help. At the age of 33, at the top of my career with everything I always dreamed of, the big house, the nice cars, two perfect sons, great husband. I was diagnosed with a ganglionic cyst on my ulnar nerve, which made doing surgery very painful. We had Vicodin in the office. We had a ton of samples and I took it and um, the pain went away and I was fine. But three months into doing this, um, I discovered a euphoria. I became very tolerant to it quickly. I was taking more and more and more. I was taking it to get out of bed in the morning. Life got better. I went into a 12-step program and I immersed myself in that and never took another pill. I'm accountable. I show up. I have everything I always wanted but I know that I could be happy with absolutely nothing because when I got sober this time in a recovery house with nothing and absolutely no one in my life, um, I found a very spiritual program and depended on that. So I always say if my house burns down tomorrow with all my stuff in it that I reacquired, I know it's going to be okay as long as I'm sober. And to be able to show that there's a way out because it happened for me is what makes it all worth it. These people are good people from decent homes that don't want to live like this. No matter what age you are, the world is your oyster. If you stay sober, you can have anything and you can go anywhere. I mean, I did it at 52. It's about asking for help. It's about um, following in the footsteps of others that have walked this path, and it is possible.